We've talked about Australia's best roller coasters, but just as important to any park is its collection of flat rides. Australia has some great parks with some brilliant lineups of flat rides. So I've called on my friend AU Theme Parks to help me rank the top 10. In no particular order, these are the 10 best flat rides at Australian theme parks. Up first we have Giant Drop at Dreamworld. This is a giant drop model manufactured by Interman. I don't think there's any going past this one. An absolute record breaker. Formerly the world's tallest drop tower and still ranking fourth and of course the tallest in the southern hemisphere, the giant drop is an experience that is so daunting and so unmatchable. The drop is incredible and lasts for so long and the view is absolutely astounding. Giant Drop is just in a league of its own. Next up, Enterprise at Luna Park, Melbourne. The Enterprise is a classic ride model from Huss, opening in 1993 and standing at about 18.4 meters or 60 feet tall. The main arm tilts to a maximum angle of 87 degrees and spins fast enough to keep riders pinned to their seats due to the centrifugal force, eliminating the need for a seatbelt or restraint system, which makes the Enterprise a truly unique and thrilling ride experience. Up next we have Goliath at Adventure World. This is a gyro swing built by Interman. What makes Goliath so much better for me than every other pendulum ride in Australia is those restraints. They're kind of like a vest restraint except with no vest so it is essentially just an over the shoulder lap bar. That gives you so much freedom to float as the pendulum reaches its peak. It's a great experience, I love it and it's so much better than a lot of the other pendulum rides here in Australia. The Power Surge at Luna Park in Melbourne opened in 2013 after operating as a seasonal attraction for several holiday periods. It stands on the former site of G-Force and is probably one of the most disorientating rides on this list. Manufactured by Zamperla, the Power Surge has three separate axes of rotation and stands at about 16.2 meters or 53 feet high. It is perfect for thrill seekers who want a comfortable but high adrenaline experience. Up next we have Batwing Space Shot at Warner Brothers Movie World. This is a shot and drop tower from SNS. For me the ride experience on this one is a little bit short but the positive G's that you get when you blast off are so good and the airtime at the peak is oh absolutely magnificent. Sure the ride kind of peters out after that but for what it does at the beginning of the ride, it gets massive points in my books. Next up on the list, we have Tailspin, located at Dreamworld on the Gold Coast. This Gerslauer Skyfly is a one-of-a-kind flat ride experience in Australia, giving riders the ability to customise their own ride experience using the wings on either side of the seat. Tailspin stands at 22 metres or 72 feet tall and opened in 2014, sitting on the former site of Reef Diver. The ability to personalise the ride experience makes Tailspin the perfect addition for mild, moderate and high-level thrill seekers. Up next we have Hair Razor at Luna Park Sydney. This is a super shot drop tower from Larson International. This is a really underrated drop tower, it's actually quite intense. Plus you don't get views like that on any other drop tower in Australia. The drop comes quite suddenly, you hit the brakes very hard so the forces are very powerful and it'll catch you off guard for sure.
Serpent Slayer, formerly known as Pandemonium, is an air race 6x4 manufactured by Zamperla. Opening in 2012, Serpent Slayer swings riders up to 8 meters or 26 feet high and can pull up to 3.8 Gs, which makes for a really intense ride experience, that is, if you enter the hard style queue. The ride features two separate cycles, the aforementioned hard style swings riders 360 degrees, whereas the soft style allows for a more mild 90 degree swing for younger or less experienced thrill seekers. Up next we have Black Widow at Adventure World. This is a power surge from Zamperla. We've already talked about one power surge. This one for me is slightly better because of its theming and presentation. I do really like power surges, they give a good out of control ride experience. Sometimes they can tend to be a little bit tame for me if you don't have the weight distribution right and it's not running fast enough. but. It can also be super intense if you get a good ride. So, you know, it can go one way or the other. I really liked Black Widow. I thought it was the better of the two power surges at permanent parks in Australia. Up next, we have Sledgehammer, a Zampella Discovery Revolution located at Luna Park in Sydney. Opening in 2021, Sledgehammer was part of a huge $30 million investment resulting in 9 new rides for the park, which was exactly what they needed to recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. Now despite the uncomfortable restraints, slow operations and the constant breakdowns, the ride experience itself is actually really fun, with great positives as you swing to the bottom and insane hang time, alongside incredible views of Sydney Harbour at the top. It stands at 29.5 metres or 97 feet tall and features two cycles, a 240 degree half swing cycle and of course the full 360 degree extreme cycle allowing for mild and wild thrill seekers to enjoy the experience. So that sums up our 10 best flat rides here in Australia. Do you think there's any that we missed? or any that should have been an honourable mention, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, it really helps the channel out, we're going to march on forward towards a thousand subscribers. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and while you're there give AU Theme Parks a follow as well, I'd like to thank him so much for helping out with this video. I hope you have a great week and I'll catch you all in the next video.